Insights with Terry Coots, a weekly look through the eyes of predictive astrologer Terry Coots. Here's Terry. Hi, everyone. This is Terry. You're listening to Insights with Terry Coots. Thank you for joining me. We are working with September the 12th through the 18th, 2022. There's a lot of energy around right now that uh, that we are going to have some opportunities in and things that we can deal with in certain ways. So I'd like to just touch on it. I like to keep these uh, these recordings as small as I can because um, traditionally they say that uh, when they do some of the work at uh, accumulating data, Uh, that people have a small attention span and that usually the first three minutes is all you get. So if I drone on, I've lost, I've lost my audience and I don't want to do that. So there's a couple of things I do want to bring up to your attention for this week and uh, we'll move through that as quickly this week as I can. Given that we're still in Virgo, uh, Virgo energy is one that allows us to organize our lives, maybe take care of some of the mess that we have been putting off, uh, getting cleaned up, uh, wanting to be a little bit alone so that we can focus and concentrate on what we need to do, where we need to go, making our list maybe so that we're a little bit more in control or feel in control of our situations. Uh, Given that, what we need to look at is we will feel overwhelmed if you don't do it just start something anything anything and that will help you at least feel that you're attacking something (laughs) not not badly Uh, in that what it allows us to do is feel like we have gained a little bit of control for ourselves and and if we don't have that with this Virgo energy both in the Sun sign and in Venus, which is what we're attracted to and what's attractive about us to other people, we'll feel uh, heavy and maybe overwhelmed. It's easy to get overwhelmed at this time. So even if you poke away, clean the dresser off, uh, make one little corner in the garage a little bit more neat, it just feels like we're a little bit, uh, I, not ahead of the game, but at least keeping up. So pay attention to that if you can. It'll help you in how you feel. Mercury, the planet of how we think and how we communicate, that's in Libra right now. Now, Mercury's going retrograde. Retrograde, it started on the 10th of this month, and it will go for three weeks. It will change uh, a little bit later um, in, in you know a couple more weeks into another zodiac sign, but we're going to deal with the Libra right now. Libra tries balance. Libra tries to get everything in balance and harmony. Chaos is not a good energy for Libra. When it's retrograde like this, it allows us to look back retro and see maybe what's out of balance in your life. What are you struggling with? What makes you out of sorts? So it allows us to take our mind, our lives, our bodies, our relationships, our spiritual approach to the world and try to find that balance for each one of us individually, maybe even for a group or the family. So that's something that we are being given the gift of for this month and we should take advantage of it. Now I am offering caution because when Mercury is in retrograde, no matter what zodiac sign it's in, some worse than others, uh, what can happen is we're not processing as quickly as we could. It's retro. So people do make more mistakes driving or doing things. So this is where mistakes happen. I won't go into it, but I had a pretty big doozy uh, myself this um (laughs) <laughs> this week and it was a mistake <laughs> and maybe it wouldn't have happened during a direct who knows who knows but there's always lessons around it so I'm going to do the best I can to learn from it but retro just doesn't make us think as well as we can so I try to avoid driving as much as I can I try to avoid uh, populated places that people could make mistakes that would affect me so uh, it's okay if they make mistakes but I don't want it to affect me so I try to try to think ahead if you can remember that Murphy's law is in place during this time which means if it's if they if the bread can fall butter side down or butter side up it's going to fall butter side down 
Murphy's Law. Just be prepared to clean it up. So if you need to go someplace, if it's a, an important thing like a doctor's appointment or something that you really need to be on time, then what you need to do is leave early. Just think, what's the worst thing that could happen? Book yourself another half hour uh, for driving over and above what you think it's going to be. The worst that can happen is you go get a coffee, sit, and not be stressed. But just know Murphy's Law is in effect. During this time as a business um, operator, I know that people are going to be late. It just, it is. People are going to forget their appointments. People are going to um, come at the wrong time. They'll say it's 9.30, not 10.30. So I try as hard as I can to be flexible and prepare for that. So for instance, I might book a half an hour buffer in between each appointment because if they're late why would I want to stress myself and try to squeeze it into this time now I'm stressed so I try to look ahead and say what could happen how can I fix this how can I be preventative how can I be ahead of it so if you can do this if you have appointments that are important call ahead and say I have an appointment I'm just checking uh, with with whoever um, do we have the same time uh, check your directions just <laughs> just be proactive with this if you can uh, Venus with that Virgo can be a little bit more picky so relationships can be a little bit pickier we can find fault a little bit easier uh, maybe people need a little more space than they normally do so don't be afraid to give it to them and don't be afraid to ask for it. It's a time where we really do need it and it's important because we'll get out of sorts if not. So just, just attend to that. And Mars, the planet of our drive and our passion, that's in Gemini and that's a curious, intellectual, communicative energy field. So, you know, get out those books you've been wanting to read. Uh, maybe do the research projects that you'd like to alone and quiet. Uh, uh, get all the loose ends tied up. Do the things that you need to do to get your mind interested. Try to avoid boring friends that won't feel good. Uh, try to avoid uh, situations that are boring and repetitive. That won't feel good either. This is the energy field that allows us to really get some new energy, new thoughts, new creativity uh, going. So get right in. And communication. Maybe call people, talk to people, Twitter people, <laughs> whatever it is you young, young folks do now. Now, the beginning of the week, we may have a little bit more vulnerability if you are vulnerable in that area with our neck, our vocal cords, our throat, if you have difficulties with your thyroid or it's not balanced properly, that may act up. Just be attentive to it. During this time, um, people that you know speak for a living may be more prone to laryngitis or sore throat or just not being able to speak as well. Uh, and that Mercury retrograde helps us not find our words, not be able to be as communicative. I, I'm prepared for that. I, I just know I'm not going to find the words I want, can't think as well as I could, will not think on my feet, and that makes you more prone to mistakes. Towards the end of the week, we'll be looking more, uh, having it migrate down a little bit to the shoulders, your arms, your hands. It can affect the bronchial tubes, your lungs. Those will be very vulnerable organs for you. So if you are weak, asthmatic, or anything in that area, be proactive, be prepared, maybe a little bit harder on you. Stay away from the ragweed <laughs> if you can. Just try not to encourage uh, this in any way, shape, or form. The number that was given to us this, actually this month, that the month is September, is a power month, number nine. But actually, uh, the guides gave us number nine as a week number as well. And the number nine, it is considered a power number. It's So that being a power month, we have a lot of tools at our beck and call. It's the number of transitions. It's the number of endings. So those transitions lead to ending negative situations, increasing positive situations, and helping us know where we need to land. It encourages us to come face to face. In fact, it throws it in our face or it just pushes us right at us. Face to face with lessons, with gifts that are given to us with the challenges that we have to work on and work with. So that's going to be right in our face with that. So, you know, it's a wonderful opportunity to take stock of our life 
and look at what lessons were being given and then come to the realization uh, who are we I, I'm always interested in that not what people's identification of me is and it's interesting if somebody does offer me I see you as this because I'm interested too I'm a human but who am I really I know me better than anybody who am I so we we will be maybe given some situations that challenge us to help us not not hurt us but to help us face who we are to see who we are what do we want to encourage in ourselves what do we want to discourage what am I made of when when push comes to shove what am I made of what is my gifts uh, where am I the most challenged? What lessons are being offered to me right now? And what lessons have been offered to me that I maybe didn't accept? The, 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 you know, the gloves down on the ground? Um, or I picked it up and went through it. So we get to look at that. The number nine helps us gain experience with these situations. Some people get to meet important people to the mission that we have. So it's a stepping stone, so to speak of people where and not to abuse them of course uh, but to help us get to where we need to go so you may find people being put in your path uh, being offered uh, you the opportunity to uh, move forward with these people it's also a very high level of mental energy so especially with that gemini in mars so if you're prone to not being able to sleep because you think this is the time for it uh, it offers us the ability to handle the difficulties and the challenges because our mind's moving. Uh, all of that energy is devoted to that. So we become more devoted to our goals, maybe more sensitive, maybe even more courageous. We're willing and able to take on responsibility. This, that's what this number offers us. So it's an awakening, really. Um, sometimes we don't realize the depth of our own wisdom, and this is going to point it out. Maybe you can point it out for another person, the depth of their wisdom. Well, what is it that you admire about them? At this time, the need for high material security is not as prominent. So material security won't be more to the forefront. It's more love. It's more truth. It's more taking care of our friendships. That will become very important. That's where we feel the need to focus on. There's going to be a strong need through this month of September to give ourselves to others, to um, give ourselves up to the care of others. That's great. I'd like to say, I, I've had some good lessons myself this week realizing how profoundly... <laughs> fortunate I am to have the people that I do surround me. I'm just so blessed. And it also points out the weaknesses. <laughs> There's always two sides to a coin. So we have to be aware of our tendency to maybe have certain delusions in certain areas and take ourselves to task for that. We can be extremely emotional and moody and maybe have some exaggerated reactions with this. And we've got to be very careful that there, with that comes a tendency to emotional stress and mental stress. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge, I don't like to spend too much time because I think the more we think about something, the more, the more alive it becomes. But September the 11th, we've celebrated and memorialized that date. Um, that's actually the day that I'm doing the podcast, which is Sunday today. And when we talk about exaggerated reactions, you know, I wasn't there, I wasn't part of it, but when I start, I couldn't finish it, but when I started to watch one of the documentaries and they were speaking of their own experiences of this woman that came out of it, you know, her flesh smoldering, her clothes melted to her body, her eyes glued shut, and this gentleman that stopped to help her and could not find any help for her. I had to stop, even now, I had to stop, and it was so overwhelming. The pain that we cause as a human species to each other, and it's so easy to be nice and kind and thoughtful. And I think on this day, rather than spend too much time thinking about the negative and 
uh, focusing on all of that horror that we do to each other with bombs and knifings and, 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 and things. We really need to focus with this power number on helping each other, looking at how can we be of service to each other? How can we make another person's journey easier, kinder, softer? So I think on this day, this is what we have to do this week, this month, is really look at how can we help each other? How can we change this energy? And with Libra, the the zodiac sign of balance in Mercury right now, our mind, to fight for balance, to fight for harmony, to see how can I help? What solution could I come up with instead of complaining and not doing anything about it? So this represents fulfilling and closing cycles and not falling down the road of meanness or aggression or hostility. And to ready ourselves to advance this next coming year, 2023, to a higher level so that people can feel that our situations, our property, not that it's getting out of hand, that it's getting in hand and more balanced and have a desire for change and progress and not to feel so anxious and restless and take that energy and direct it to human nature, to stick with it, to help, to overcome, to make better, not to let go of things so that there's no hope of success, but to hold on to things so that there is hope for success. That's what this number is all about. Remember, Sometimes a drowning man will clutch at a straw because there's no other options. So let's not go there. Let's take the vibrations of this number nine. It's important for growth. It's important for personal awareness. It's important for personal responsibility, for friendships, for romance in our relationships. Even the old ones, the romance. And come to an end of this period of aggression and move it. Maybe you need to change jobs. Maybe we need to change the direction of our efforts. Maybe we need to move. But something has to be done. We have to look at what in our lives is of great value to ourselves. This time in which people accept responsibility or walk away from it is so important. So this is what we have to look at. This is what we have to do. This is, this is our task. So I'm leaving it in your hands to say, how can I be part of the solution, not part of the problem, each one of us individually? So in that, I would like to thank my Charlie O'Brien, who has been such a support in getting this on Spotify, Amazon, SoundCloud, YouTube. He puts it on the website www.terryworld.com and archives it. And I thank all of the people around me as well as Charlie that are so supportive and have been so supportive. That's all of you listening to this. See what we can do for each other and see where we land with that. And thanks again so much for taking the time uh, to, to out of your day to listen to this. If you need a personal reading for yourself, my number, you can text or call 519-726-6699, or you can email me at terry, T-E-R-R-I dot coot, C-O-U-T-T-S at gmail.com. And I'm going to shamelessly provoke, promote, provoke, promote, <laughs> promote that we're starting dog group classes again on the farm Tuesday the 20th. They run from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And if you have a little canine that needs a little brush up, even if you have a canine and kids uh, or grandmother or grandfather that needs exercise, come on out to the farm, register, uh, take a hold of that number or that email address and book a spot for yourself. And we can get some energy out of the, uh, the dogs and make everybody enjoy their Netflix program quietly. Thanks again, everybody. You have a wonderful week and spend some time thinking about that. Be careful of that Mercury retrograde. Bye for now. You've been listening to Insights with Terry Coots and visit her website, terryworld.com, T-E-R-R-I world.com. And we'll catch you next time 